Hey guys, I'm Ryan Tyler with Skiers Marine, and if you're in the market for a great family bow rider that's 23 feet long, we might have the boat for you. It's the all new 2023 Chaparral 23 SSI. Let's take a look. We had so much fun today with the Skiers Marine team. We want to use our team's passion for water sports to build the legacy of our customers and their families. And I'm excited to share with you a brand new option for 2022. This is good because you're learning this technique. Yeah. Our passion. Our passion. Our passion. Using our passion to grow your legacy. So before we hop on board, let's go over the specs. This boat's 23 feet, length overall, has a beam of eight and a half feet has seating for 13 people, weighs 3,600 pounds dry, and has a 50 gallon fuel tank. Chaparral does do some really neat things at the transom I wanted to highlight. First of which is actually extend the running surface house to outdrive. So what this does is it act like built-in trim tabs. So versus having to get Linko tabs or electric, they just extend the running surface back. And when they do that, they can actually build in the swim platform as well. So from a structure standpoint, it actually makes the transom a lot more rigid and safer. They can actually make it a little bit wider for you to board from the dock too. We do option this with a Volvo. As you can see, it has the dual prop outdrive. We have them in stock and you can order them with either a single prop or a dual prop from Volvo or Mercury. So hopping on board, the first thing you'll see is we have this really nice wide swim platform. Makes it easy to get on and off the boat. We did option this particular boat with a new Cayenne interior and Cayenne Sea Deck swim platform mat, as well as Sea Deck snap in flooring. You can choose those options when you build it on your own or buy one in stock. We do have a really easy access oversized boarding ladder that is four steps, so it goes down really low, making it easy to get on and off the boat. Also at the transom, they do design it for lounging, so if you are just hanging out in the cove, we have a nice rumple seat here that's double wide if I just want to talk to everybody. If I want to convert this bed area into a sun lounge, you can actually do it from both sides. So we have either the walkthrough side over here that we can turn into a chaise lounge, or you can do the chaise lounge on this side, depending on which way the sun is facing. It's super comfortable. It's pretty wide too. So if you wanted to have two people up here, you could. Coming in, Chaparral does a really good job of giving us a walkway. We do have a removable cushion that makes it a wraparound seating, but I can take it out. I don't have to step on any upholstery coming in, which is really nice and this actually folds flat really easily. All right, once we're inside the boat, look at how beautiful this interior is. This is, like I said, the all new Chaparral Kine interior with their slate gray and white vinyl. This is actually Chaparral's new vinyl. It's a fabric. It's actually silicone inside of it as well. So what that does is it's resistant to sun damage as well as staining from sunscreen or whatever might be on your boat at the time. There's storage on either side. It's easy access. You just flip it up right here. You can see we have the cover over here. And on the opposing side is actually open. In the center, we have a built-in cooler. It's insulated, it's pretty big too. And it has an overboard drain, so as your ice melts, you don't have to worry about just water sloshing around. This boat we're in is actually powered by a Volvo Penta 250 horsepower V6 engine with a dual prop outdrive. You can get Mercruiser or Volvo engines in these in single or dual props, all the way up to 300 horsepower. Before we move forward, there is one more neat thing Chaparral does. I actually build this boat to hold a table since it is 23 feet long and this is a really good day boat. You can see where the receptacle is right here. Let's get it out of the storage area. It's very easy to deploy. All you do is slide this in right here. It clicks and you put the table on top like so. But now we have wraparound seating around the table and you can see the drink holders. It's fiberglass so you don't have to worry about it wearing over time too. You notice one thing we did select is the water sports arch, which is really nice because it elevates the bimini top. And then this oversized bimini actually is really tight and covers the entire cockpit. So no matter where you are, the sun isn't going to be beating you down on those hot summer days. So this boat's optioned with a four speaker stereo system by Clarion. And it's actually Bluetooth and has a really neat remote, easy access for anybody in the boat right behind this window with this little recess cup. So coming forward, look at this great experience the passenger gets. One, we have this really nice captain's chair. It actually mimics what's on the driver's side. Swivel's really easy, has a flip up bolster so you can see over the windshield on those hot days. And as well as it's ventilated on the back. The other cool thing they do is they actually side saddle it. So they cut this out to where I can make, get in and out without having to swivel the seat. And the glove box and everything itself looks like an automotive dash what we would get on the driver's side too. So they tie it together really well. Moving over to the driver, same seat we had on the passenger side. This dash itself is designed to be low 
so you can see through the windshield on those cooler days or if I'm sitting on the bolster I can actually look up over it which is really nice. It is a black brow to diminish all the glare we would get on our gauges and screen as you can see here. And the cool thing they do too is they actually make it fiberglass. So Chaparral is known to be a, a really really strong boat. They actually put Kevlar in the hull to make sure it lasts a long time. So if you build stuff out of fiberglass, you don't have to worry about it warping over time like you would see in the plastic in another boat. It does have a great layout. It's very functional, so great line of sight to my gauges. My switches are easy to reach, obviously. And then I have easy access to the shifter, as well as an armrest built in to where it's really comfortable and ergonomic for the driver. Moving to the bow, we do have storage on either side of the walkthrough, which is really nice. It's easy access. Another cool thing Chaparral does is they actually build in the wind dam and recess it so it doesn't take up any more space. And it's all one piece so I can block off all the elements or the wind on a cooler day from doing a sunset cruise or early morning run. The bow, we do have the optional filler cushion. You can take it out if you'd like to have a traditional walkthrough, just like so. There is another table mount up front. But most people prefer to actually leave it in and then you have this really nice bow sun lounge. It is three wide across. Notice how they ergonomically cut the backrest to where I can sit in the corner. Have an oversized grab handle right here if it is a little bit rougher. Two stereo speakers to tie to the stereo we have in the back that's all Bluetooth and cup holders for the people up front. At the nose, we have our anchor locker. Notice that it's on tension hinges so it won't fall as you're getting the anchor out. We have these two cleats to tie off to where you can tie off your anchor as well as storage right here to where you don't bring a dirty anchor into the boat. If I do beach it, I can actually board off the front just by stepping on the nose and hopping off. So thank you for watching this walkthrough video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did getting to shoot it. If you think this might be the boat you're looking for, stop by one of our Skiers Marine locations local to you and check one out. Or go online and shop at www.skiersmarine.com. Thanks for watching.